Hey guys, it's Heather, and I haven't done a video in a little while, and so I thought I would talk to you about my latest hair disaster. My camera's being really weird and, like, glitchy slow. Like, I just moved a lot faster than it looked in the screen, so that's weird. So hopefully it comes out okay. But I basically want to tell you guys what has happened to my hair. Um, it doesn't look too shabby. Maybe it looks rougher on camera than I think it does, and I'm not wearing any makeup, and I'm wearing my stupid old lady sweater because it's freezing. <laughs> Moving on. So, I decided that I wanted to go, like, a chocolate brown, like a warm brown, um, for winter time. I do this every year, and every year it always turns out darker than I wanted it to. So, I don't know why this time I thought it would be any different. It wasn't. Um, so, but the problem was, is that my hair had grown a lot since the last time, and the roots ended up being, like, a lot lighter brown, like, probably more the color brown that I wanted, and then the tips were like this ashy, off-colored, ugly, black, gray, Ugh, they were just bad. And so I was like, what am I going to do? I thought I was just going to have to live with it. I lived with it through Thanksgiving. Um, and it wasn't awful, but it wasn't what I wanted it to be either. And so I spent an entire day watching YouTube videos um, about color oops. Um, and there were mixed reviews. People, some people were like, it didn't do anything. Some people were like, it did amazing. Some people were like, my hair turned orange when I was done. Some people said, you absolutely will have to plan on coloring it when you're done. Um, some people were like, it turned out exactly what I wanted. I didn't do anything else. But the thing for me that sold me on it is that it um, doesn't contain bleaches or ammonia. And so it doesn't damage your hair as badly as dye would or bleach wood to try and get the, the black to lighten up. Um, and so I thought, well, heck, I'll give it a try, you know. And so I went into Walmart, and they actually had it. And it was only like 10 bucks. So I was like, well, it can't hurt, you know. So um, the directions just say you just mix it up like a normal hair color. You just put it on your whole head. You leave it on for 25 minutes. But then the crucial thing that I learned when watching the videos, and it also says in the instructions, um, is that you have to rinse and 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 rinse some more. Like, it's insane how much you are supposed to rinse. And the reason for that is when you put the color remover on your hair, it's like it, I don't know the technical terms for any of it, but it's like it pulls little dye molecules off of the strand of hair, but they just sit there. And so you have to rinse and rinse so that you wash those dye molecules away. So in the shower, I think I lathered up my hair and literal washed it, washed it three, maybe four times. And I was in there for a good 30 minutes with my head under the water the entire time. So I felt like I had rinsed it well enough. I let it air dry. Um, my mom actually stopped by and was like, hey, come to the mall with me. So I had to go to the mall looking a hot mess because it was like still wet and looked kind of crazy. Um, and there's a kiddo crying in the background. Um, so then I came home and did a coconut oil treatment because they said that, um, after you've colored your hair and then after you put this on it, even though it's not super damaging like bleach, it still is rough on your hair. It still is, you know, adding sulfur type chemicals to your hair. P.S. A lot of the reviews say that it really smells so horrible like rotten eggs and the videos the girls are making these horrible awful faces. To me and to my, even my kids, it didn't smell that bad. Um, I did it just in the bathroom while they were playing in the living room. It smelled strong, but it wasn't overwhelming, and it did not smell like death, like some people were acting to me. So anyway, um, I did a coconut oil treatment, slathered coconut oil from root to tip, focusing mostly on the tips. Um, I twisted it up into a bun. I put it in a shower cap. I hit it, hit it with some heat a couple of times in the first hour, and then I slept in it. Um, not the most comfortable thing in the world, but I knew that it would help my hair. Coconut oil is amazing for all kinds of things, but um, a hair mask is A-OK. -okay. And so then I woke up this morning and washed it all out, let it air dry. I actually put it up in some headband curls, but they're falling out now, and I think that that's because my hair is so healthy. Every time that my hair gets soft and shiny and smooth and healthy, it doesn't want to hold a curl worth a darn. So when I took it out of the headband, um, it actually was like, like loopy curly and now it's just kind of but so this is the color that I got and I wish I had taken a picture actually I'm glad I didn't take a picture before because I didn't like the black but the the tips are still pretty dark actually it looks like a reverse 
ombre. <laughs> like usually you start with dark at the roots and go down to light and mine is like still super light at the roots, gets to medium brown in the middle and is dark brown at the tips. But you wouldn't think it, but it looks a hundred times better than the black did because the black just made me look so washed out and I don't have any makeup on right now so I probably look washed out to you right now. But this is so much better. The problem is, is this color that's up here by my my roots up around my face like it's not it's not the optimal color for my skin tone either um, I really would like for all of my hair <laughs> to be this middle range color so I don't I'm, I'm still trying to kind of decide what I want to do next what my next step is as far as if I want to add a color a lot of places were saying um, that after you use the color oops there'll be a lot of brassy and orangeness in my hair and it definitely has that and I mean, you don't notice it like see when I turn my head this way it just looks like my highlights and chocolate hair but then when I turn back this way and the light hits it different it's like oh, sorry it's like orange right here so I don't know if you can see that as good as I can when I'm looking in the viewfinder but um, it definitely has some orangey tones to it and in the sunshine, like when I was out today picking up my kid, this hair down here has like really pretty auburn burgundy tones and sparkles in it, which is awesome. I wish my whole head looked like that. But I've got to do something about these the root situation here. So I haven't decided what to do, but um, some suggestions after the color oops were coloring your hair with a two shades lighter shade of ash blonde or ash brown depending on what shade you want to go because after you use color oops your hair picks up color like way fast and way much <laughs> so it always ends up darker than you intended it to I don't know if that still applies if you wait a week or two um, I bought a box of medium ash brown at the store when I bought the color oops but now I'm kind of after watching videos they're acting like that's gonna make me go back dark so I don't really know what's gonna happen because I know I want my roots to get darker but I don't want my ends to get darker I, want my end, I wouldn't mind if my ends got lighter honestly but I know that I probably can't achieve that with the same single box of color so I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet I may not use that at all because I'm scared to mess my roots up um, and the other th the other option was if you are experiencing brassiness after color oops is to get the purple shampoos. Um, Ulta carries a bunch of different kinds. Sally's carries a bunch of different kinds. And I've heard that Walmart carries a certain brand as well. Um, I plan to stop into Sally's. I think I think I'm going to try the purple shampoo before I try putting more color on my hair. Um, I've heard good things about the shimmering lights. I think that's what it's called. It's um, Clairol maybe or L'Oreal. I don't know. Either way, um, it's only like eight bucks, so I feel like I'd rather try that than putting more damaging color on my hair. And then maybe that'll just take the brassiness, the oranginess out of this enough to where I could be happy with it for a while. Um, I have a big event coming up in January, so I don't want to have like ridiculous hair when I go to that because I need to look presentable. Um, and another thing that the color oops specified is after using the color oops it tells you to do a deep conditioning treatment that has a lot of protein in it and I think that probably hair that's been colored and worked on as much as mine has in the last week or two probably needs protein regardless of whether I did the color oops or not and so I got the um, the suave keratin infusion series um, I'm gonna try going a couple of days between washes um, from here on out or at least a day every wash my hair every other day because I know that that is supposed to be really good for your hair and I'm the kind of girl who washes it every day I don't know if it's just my hair type or if I just need to train my hair to think no we only get washed every other day um, and some people think that sounds totally gross but I just keep hearing it more and more and more about having healthy hair only washing it you know every other day or every two days so I got the dry shampoo I'm not a fan of the smell but it's what it is but it's got the keratin infusion in it too. I've got the leave-in conditioner, which I really like because it makes my hair um, be nice to me when I heat it and style it, which I have been doing lately since it's grown so much. And then I also got the keratin infusion um, shampoo and conditioner. So I've got the whole line going, working in my favor. Um, so hopefully that'll add some much-needed protein to my hair. Um, so yeah, and this is also for um, heat damage and frizz control. So, yeah, um, yeah, so hopefully that works, hopefully that helps. If not, I'm going to continue to do the coconut oil treatments, but right now my hair is like 
even after the color oops coming out before the um, coconut oil treatment, my hair was way soft. I mean, you know how your hair feels after you color it. The ends might look a little fried, but your hair usually feels pretty soft and it's pretty shiny. So um, the color oops didn't mess with that at all. So I don't know. I don't know what my next step is from here, but I thought that I would tell you guys how I feel about the color oops, which it did pretty much what it was supposed to do. My hair did darken back up. I think when I showered today, you can see the line like right here um, where it's darker at the bottoms. And they say that if you didn't rinse it completely, completely well enough that you could shower the next time and the color molecules might stick again. Um, but either way, it, it lightened it up enough to where I'm better with it than I was before. So the color groups definitely did what it was supposed to do. I probably could have rinsed for longer. Um, and then I just want to talk to you guys about the keratin infusion stuff that I'm going to keep trying. And then see, maybe if anybody has any advice, don't tell me to go to the salon. If I wanted to go to the salon, I already would have been at the salon. I don't like to go to the salon to get my hair colored. I just don't. I'd rather mess it up and say that I did it myself and messed it up than to pay somebody to mess it up. Because it seems like it happens more often than not that I don't get what I want. So... As far as cutting, I go to the hair place. I don't cut my own hair. But as far as coloring, I'm not that fussy about my hair to have to worry about, you know, if it's not the right color. I, it's no big deal. I'll just figure out how to fix it myself or I'll live with it. So if you guys have any advice on how to get rid of the brassiness besides the purple shampoo, which I'm going to try first, um, and then I've seen a couple other videos about the ash hair dyes that are going to take this redness out of here. Um, I don't know. But... I'm going to take this barrette out so you can see, or the bobby pin, rather, um, so that you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see, it, I mean, it doesn't look bad, it doesn't look like it's so orange, but it kind of is when there's certain light on it. My camera is so weird right now. It looks like this dark, pretty chocolate brown, but then you can see over here, <laughs> it looks orange in certain light, so I don't really know what to do with that. I don't know how to fix it. I don't know. Look at it right now. It looks like a hot mess. Um, so, yeah, if you have any advice for me, let me know it. Let me hear it. Um, and then, um, you know, let me know if you've tried Color Oops or if um, you want to try it, because I know that we all have issues when we color our hair some weird color that does not like us. And we want to take it out. And so color groups is kind of what that's for. So um, I just want to share my experience with you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.